As another school year begins, parents are again faced with this daily question. How do I dress the kids for school? The answer mostly depends on the weather, but there's a other there's a few other factors to consider. Chief Meteorologist Christy Henderson joins us now. Hi, Christy. Hey, Taylor and Gordon. Well, you know, as back to school weather week does continue. Meteorologist Malachi Rogers has a look at how schools evaluate the safety plans for recess. During the school year, weather in the Carolinas changes a lot. Early fall temperatures are in the low 90s with January temperatures in the 20s and 30s. From sunshine and heat to rain and cold, students experience a wide range of weather conditions and dressing for those conditions is a daily challenge. Yeah, I always check the weather. The weather is so wishy-washy. It could be hot part of the day and the next half of the day, you know, the weather becomes real severe or maybe we get thunderstorms and rain. So just sort of dress them, I think, in a what if type of way if that makes sense. Students are expected to work hard during class time and for younger students it's important that they have free time for recess. I think it's uh, important for them to be active uh, not to sit in there all day. It's good to have exercise. It's good for them to not get in uh, bad habits being sedentary uh, too long. Uh, and I think just being active is uh, real good for them. As far as health wise, I think it's important for them to get the rays of the sunshine, you know, to keep their vitamin D and everything up in their bodies. I mean, exercise is very important, uh, more so than anything. But what are the rules for outdoor recess? On a rainy day, it's quite obvious. It's indoor recess and no outdoor recess on a rainy day. But what about the days in between? How hot is too hot to be outdoors and how cold is too cold? We contacted school districts across the area and their responses were pretty consistent. Most school districts told us they use guidelines provided by the Department of Health and Human Services. In general, temperatures between 40 and 90 are considered acceptable. But most schools are allowed to decide what they think is best for their students. So the best advice for a great school year is to ask your child's teacher for his or her rules for outdoor recess and as a parent, be flexible and dress for the weather. Just making sure she's comfortable, you know, not too hot uh, when the weather's warm and, and things like that. Whenever someone's uncomfortable. They don't really pay attention to anything else. 7 News Meteorologist Malachi Rogers.